Then it does bother you a little. Not enough to stop me. I'm on my way, and if it takes a deal with a crooked sheriff, that's all right with me. And if I have to fancy it up with an Indian curse and a broken hearted wife for real, that's all right, too. Not with me, it isn't. And not with a lot of others in this business. Phony, below-the-belt journalism, that's what it is. Not below the belt. Right in the gut, Mr. Boot. Human interest. You heard me phony. For all I know, there isn't even a Leo down there. Yes, there is. Tatum made sure of that. Look, I've waited a long time for my turn at bat. Now that they've pitched me a fat one, I'm gonna smack it right out of the ballpark. Yes? What paper? Tell Philadelphia to call back in half an hour. Hey, you know what, Chuck? I had that medicine man stage a whole ceremonial. Hello, Mr. Boot. Come on, Herbie, get your things together. We're going back. Tatum just hit a home run, and the big leagues are calling. Go ahead, Herbie. Maybe Boot's right. Maybe you better go back with him. But you said I could stick with you. Give him good advice, Chuck. You can do it. He's old enough to make up his own mind. Everybody in this game has to make up his own mind. I've made up mine. Hello. Yes? Sure, I'm ready to talk to New York. Put them on. Don't be so sorry for them. What makes you think the Albuquerque son bulletin is all that a kid wants out of life? What makes you think you have all the answers? They're out of date. High button shoes, belt and suspenders. They're not wearing them anymore. Look at the calendar, Mr. Boot. It's the 20th century. The second half of it. You don't expect the kid to stand still. He wants to get going, going. Going where? <laughs>